Pakistani authorities now believe a new militant group out to avenge a deadly army assault on a mosque in Islamabad three years ago has allegedly carried out several major bombings that were previously blamed on the Taliban. The emergence of the Ghazi force seems to be part of the outrage among many deeply religious Pakistani Muslims over the July 2007 attack by security forces against the Lal Masjid or Red Mosque, a stronghold of Islamic militants. The assault stunned the nation, especially families of the students and Pakistanis with deep religious feelings and inspired a new generation of militants. The Ghazi force was formed soon after the raid on um, Red Mosque uh, which killed about 100 people. Most of those people who have joined this force uh, belong to the madrasa affiliated to the Red Mosque. These Pakistanis have turned against a government they felt have betrayed them and backed the US in neighboring Afghanistan. The new group is made up of relatives of students who died in the Red Mosque assault. Maulana Abdul Aziz, head cleric of the Red Mosque, denied being involved with Ghazi force and said the group was shaped while he was in jail. No body has controlled these young people after the raid on Red Mosque. I myself was in jail for two years. During this period the students formed not only one but many different organizations. They have their own plans and ways now. The work which they are doing, we have not spoken to them to form such type of organizations. The struggles which we were involved in in the past are now peaceful. But when you try and stop a peaceful movement with power, expect a stronger reaction, and that is what's going on at the moment. The brief but bloody history of the Ghazi force illustrates the result of what appears to be Pakistan's policy of persuading Islamic extremists to fight India in the disputed area of Kashmir. That policy now threatens regional stability as the US and Pakistan's other Western partners pour billions of US dollars into the country to stop the rise of Islamic militancy. Major General Atta Abbas believes that once the army started its offensive in South Waziristan, different militant groups in the area joined forces. It was, uh, the state was expelled from there. The, uh, all the uh, agencies or the paramilitary, military uh, were out from South Waziristan, Masood territory. Now we have regained that and uh, we have also regained uh, almost all of the area of Oregon. And uh, therefore, these groups had joined, they were getting the material support, the financial support and the expertise, particularly from the foreign militants. So they, yes, they have joined them and also the criminal gangs from Khaibar. In Islamabad, the Ghazi force was believed to have been behind the most deadliest attacks in the capital during the last three years. It has become a very, uh, uh, a very important force and uh, uh, in fact, actually a very lethal one. And they have uh, trained people. They have actually people who are ready to die for their cause and that's one of the reasons why we see the most of the, uh, of the suicide attacks which has taken place particularly in Islamabad um, uh, uh, have actually someone uh, from the Ghazi force or someone from, uh, from the Madrasa affiliated with the Red Mosques.